You know, there's a lot of discussion in higher education right now about how do you prepare students for this century in which people are going to have to know things that right now we can't even imagine what they are. And so I think when we talk about integral education, really what we're talking about is how to give people the kind of intellectual skills as well as the um, internal centering that helps them deal with a world that changes all the time. And so one of the, I think, the strengths of integral education is about bringing things together. It's about wholeness. It's about integration. It's about the ways in which we are all similar, that we are all human beings together. We are all part of a world together. And at the same time, we recognize that we are also all different. And in an integral education, we are giving people, helping people develop the tools that build ways of grappling with difference and being open to difference that's very different from um, being in the traditional classroom. And what we want is a kind of education that grows and develops with time, that helps pe that people can build on their passion. And our faculty are very passionate about the work that they, they do, both the intellectual work and the kind of teaching that they do and mentoring with students. And we want them to be able to express that passion in their own individual way. And at the same time, we want them to be conscious of... Um, an approach to education that focuses very deeply on um, both cognitive understanding and on other kinds of understanding. So when our students graduate from here, we want them to be able to say, yes, I really got the skills at CIS, that I have been able to meet challenges that I never imagined while I was there. I like to say that CIS is at its best when we have a balance between the intellectual rigor, because of course, I mean, we're a, we're a college, we want to have intellectual rigor, and a focus on personal development, so that when we are um, teaching new concepts to students, teaching new information to them, we also want them to be able to work with those concepts. So it's not just that you're learning something that is out there, distant from you, but then how do you take it in, how do you connect it to what it is that you believe you already know, and how are you going to be able to utilize it? So we really need people to be able to do both.